Good morning, welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, October 21st, 2013. If you're listening to this on the radio and wish to watch it, please go to www.cadex.com. The situation in New South Wales and Australia down by Sydney is increasingly perilous. Uh, numerous wildfires are expected to actually merge on Wednesday, causing a mega fire. The Premier of New South Wales has made a uh, declaration of a state of emergency in the area. The scenic Blue Mountains area, which is a, uh, a tourist attraction, is expected to be uh, very heavily hit. Uh, officials are considering the mandatory evacuation of up to 25 towns. Uh, the Premier said it looks like three big fires in the area could merge on Wednesday, which could prove to be disastrous. One has died already and more than 200 properties have been completely destroyed in the area. Authorities have warned that high temperatures and winds are likely to be uh, maintained over the next number of weeks, heightening the danger for fires. As we speak in Baden-Baden, Germany, uh, the second of the big two reinsurance conferences are going on. Um, centered in uh, the German resort town, the spa town. Many people are there from the reinsurance industry, the brokers, the buyers, and the sellers of reinsurance. And uh, several themes are beginning to emerge from the conference. It seems as if uh, competition from the collateralized insurance industry, which we know, as well as a tremendous surplus of capacity in the traditional reinsurance market means that the buyers are determined to take advantage and make big improvements and changes to their reinsurance program. On Friday, we reported that FM Global, one of the biggest buyers of reinsurance in the U.S., has already determined to cut its purchase of reinsurance by $180 million. Today, it's been announced that Liberty Mutual, another big buyer, is going to cut its reinsurance purchase from $600 million down to $300 million. Meanwhile, the reinsurance industry is responding by saying that uh, the industry should look to deploy its excess global capital by widening the insurance market and by going to areas that have been previously untapped, such as India and China. This is in line, of course, with what people like uh, John Nelson and Tom Bolt have been saying for some time. Uh, additionally, it was announced that AIG subsidiary Lexington has uh, indicated that it's laying down the law to brokers and buyers that they are going to walk away from business rather than accept rate reductions. Uh, they have indicated that uh, they will allow brokers to sign them down to reductions of 10 percent, but that's it. Other than that, they walk. Hanover Re, the third largest reinsurer, says that significant losses from the hailstorms in Germany uh, that we've been reporting means that there will be significant improvements in German cat reinsurance. Uh, rumors are indicating that uh, some cat treaties in Germany have been quoted with as much as a 50 percent premium increase. Meanwhile, in uh, northeastern China, the uh, winter air pollution season is well underway. The city of Harbin, uh, located a little bit northeast of uh, Beijing, is suffering particularly badly. Uh, some readings there in excess of uh, 1,000 micrograms per cubic meter of fine particulate matter have been reported. That's literally off the charts. The measuring instruments don't go above 1,000. The World Health Organization says that a safe level is only 25 uh, micrograms per cubic meter. The American jazz singer Patty Austin had to cancel a concert in Beijing over the weekend and because of an asthma attack linked to the pollution. J.P. Morgan Chase has uh, reportedly reached a deal with the U.S. Justice Department to pay a record $13 billion to settle a number of outstanding probes of its residential mortgage-backed security business. Uh, the uh, deal has not been officially agreed to yet because the big bank is uh, wrangling over an admission of wrongdoing. This, of course, would be on top of the $6 billion that it uh, had to fork out in connection with the trades regarding the London whale and the collateralized uh, instruments that nobody seemed to understand what they were. There's a hurricane threatening Mexico again. This would be Hurricane Raymond. It's a Category 3 storm. It's threatening to hit an area that has already been soaked by uh, Hurricane Manuel. Uh, the storm is about 165 miles west-southwest of Acapulco. The Mexican government is considering ordering evacuations of low-lying areas. Meanwhile, on Saturday, a tragedy occurred in Belgium. Um, Twelve people, including 11 parachutists uh, and the pilot, were killed when a plane crashed uh, shortly after taking off from an airfield near the city of Namur. 
apparently was a uh, birthday uh, present that had been organized. Eleven people were wearing parachutes. The pilot apparently was not. It didn't matter because uh, shortly after takeoff, when the plane reached about uh, 2,000 feet in height, the wing sheared off and the aircraft spiraled into the ground. Nobody had time to get out of the plane and everybody on board was killed. The King of Belgium and the Prime Minister have visited the crash site. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.